dead quickly. You know Rylan, who was on the X Factor? Got big white teeth and all. If you know him, you, don't, you, you know him. If you don't, you don't. I'm not going to fucking... There's no point in me explaining because... Women, I'm yapping. I'm yapping. You said you're going to try and do this quickly. He was at Cafe Mambo. We were in Ibiza. There's a very famous... Cafe, uh, restaurant, bar, place there called Cafe Mambo. Next to the, the whole Sunset Boulevard, they call it. Sunset Strip. No Sunset Boulevard, Sunset Strip. And me and Lynn went there with Daniel during the daytime and there was a poster, Rylan was going to be here with his BBC2 radio show. And then Lynn looked it up and Sophie Ellis Bexter was going to be there, CC Peniston, all this nice fucking upbeat music. And I'm like, this is fucking perfect. We ended up getting a table. Um, I did a wee funny face, you know, next to the poster. Look at that. Just because he's got big white teeth and that was me doing my Charlie Burchill face. By the way, we've not seen that in HD yet, you know. I mean, no, uh, 60 frames a second HD. That's then he tweeted me back saying, "Oh, we should have a teeth off." As a flack in a like some sort of battle. He doesn't know me, by the way, and I don't know him. You know, it's not like I have tweeted each other quite a bit before. Um, so then. Um, I was like, oh, look, Lynn. He tweeted me back. Anyway, we ended up booking a table at this uh, Cafe Mambo. Costs a fucking fortune. Uh, you've got to you've got to spend a minimum amount of fucking whatever it was. A lot, right? And everything costs a fortune. Everything costs a fortune. You try and justify it to yourself because, well, you see, you're getting a seat here next to the, the you know, the sunset bit and all that. Right? You know, and you're, you're, you're not just sort of getting all crammed and fucking having to move on. Plus, it was justified because, like, he's going to be here, here, she's going to be here, and she's going to be here. Anyway, we were sitting there, and I was tweeting, kind of riling and all that, and tweeting wee bits, uh, wee videos and all that. And uh, he said, I'm very sorry, by the way, if you've heard this story before, but this is new and high quality. This is high quality version, you the fucking on the balcony in the fucking darkness telling you the story. This is a high quality version now. Um... He, what fucking happened? I tweeted him, right, and I was taking me videos of him and all that, right, I wasn't taking the piss, you know, I was tweeting him, I tweeted him, by the way, when I say I wasn't taking the piss, don't think that this story ends up with him going, gonna leave, could you leave me alone? No, nothing bad actually happens, but, um, sorry, I kicked the fucking camera again. Um, I was taking me videos and all that, right, and I was tweeting them. Um, and that was that, right? I was trying to get a shout out. You know, I was tweeting Ryland's account and the BBC Two, a uh, Radio Two account, to get a wee shout out because he was doing shout outs. So I was like, "Oh, he's a shout out to Lemmy and Lynn and and the uh, the son Daniel," and it never came. And it never came. I was like, "Oh fuck!" Trying to get a shout out. Oh well, somebody ended up. He ended up reading out. What was it exactly? Um. Oh, fuck somebody. Somebody tweeted me. Hold on a wee second. Benny Harvey, man, it was a fucking cracker. Um, hold on. We hear this. In case you don't know who the fuck Benny Harvey is, to ruin the joke. Let's see, hold on. Keys a wee second. Right, keys a wee second. Right, keys a second. Okay, okay. Eh, right, hold on. I just need the one wee thing. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, I can't fucking find it. I want to be able to find it right now. Um, 
I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry, by the way. Very sorry for getting distracted. But it was basically fucking Benny Harvey. Um, somebody went, somebody said, oh, can you give a shout out to my, uh, my friend, uh, Benny Harvey? Um, you can't make it air this year. And Rylan fucking read it out. So just as I was, somebody said, Giraffe Vacation says, R.I.P. Improv Night. Look, I'm just fucking happy to be back here, right? I'm happy, I'm, I'm going to do a bit of improv, right? I'm, I'm happy to be, be back here in the chat with you, with a, with a brand new camera, right? Um, um, so it's like, fucking Benny Harvey gets a shout and I don't. Anyway, just as I'm leaving... Because I was tweeting them a few times. Just as we're leaving, like about two, three hours later, right? Well, two and a half hours later. Um, we're walking away. And eventually we get a shout out. Eventually get a shout out. And... Um, in fact, you know what? I'm going to... T- here, listen to this, right? Just as we're walking away... Lynn says to us, uh, right, I'm taking Daniel to the toilet, right? She goes away. As she's away, the place is pure fucking mobbed. You're only allowed like three deep outside this cafe, man, but there's a big path, there's a big, you know, there's a cycle path and everything that goes past. And the bouncers like moving everybody who stepped here this line, moving everybody, keep it moving, keep moving, keep moving, like that, right? As I'm walking away, um, I check my phone, and Rylan, Rylan has tweeted me to say, uh, come and meet me. It was something like that, come and meet me. He's still doing his show. He's still doing his fucking show. It was something like, come and meet me or something like that. Um, And I was like, oh fuck. And I kind of shat it. I kind of shat it. He wasn't hitting on me, no, 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 no. He's just like, you know, it's part of the whole thing. You know, people were like, ah, getting getting pictures and all that, you know. Do you know that? Um, He said, come and meet me. And I was ready to go, ah, fuck. I was ready to no tell Lynn. I was ready to maybe tell her, like, quite a bit later. So that I didn't have to, you know, because cause I'd, cause I'd stood up and I'd left, right? We'd left. And we're past everybody, we're past everybody, we're past everybody, right? And now I'm getting, uh, he's saying, come and meet me. And I'm like, I've, so I've got to go back. What does that entail exactly? If I get up in front of everybody, is it going to go, now everybody, he was getting, Rylan was getting people up now and again. He was getting people up, sticking a mic at them and saying, so, we have want somebody here, we have someone here, I kind of do his voice, but he was going like, we'll have somebody here, they've been coming here for 20 years, and so tell us about you. You know, like, obviously, the researcher or somebody has got somebody and said, so who are you? I see, but we might ask you up and then, you know, get get them up. And see, because he had that old teeth off part of me and because I've been on the BBC and there's a wee bit of kind of like Radio 2 and Six Music or whatever the fuck it is or BBC Sounds, I don't know, has retweeted me now and again or tweeted my videos now and again. I'm like, am I in the inside? sort of kicked the camera again am I on the inside am I like a BBC man am I a safe person can they go like that get him up he's alright we've had him on radio programmes and all that live things he doesn't fuck it up it's alright so I was kind of um, shitting that a wee bit because I thought he's going to get me up and I'm like looking at myself you know my fucking state you know like put on a bit fucking Recently, about three stone, and I put on an Austo on fucking holiday, and you know, just a daft fucking da cunt. And they've got cameras there and all that. I'm like, I don't, don't know if, I, if he gets me up, I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know what I'm going to say. Sometimes it's a wee bit hard to be normal if Rylan was to get me up and go like, So, how have you been enjoying your holiday? 
see anybody who's been asking me that, you know, like people who know us for the telly or whatever, say, Lemmy, no way you can get a photo. How's the holiday been? I go like that. Ah, it's all right. I've bored my mind. I'm, you know, I'm teetotal. Do you know what I mean? I don't drink, don't take it anymore. You know, I'm bored, bored at my mind. But, you know, it's all right. It's got nice going for meals and all that. But, you know, I'm pure can I get a bit fucking bored, you know, I'm just looking after my son, making sure he doesn't fucking drown, I've been hitting everybody with that part, make sure my son doesn't drown, make sure my son doesn't drown, it's all I've been fucking saying, and I would get up, and I, I, I wouldn't know what to say, because I'd be like, what am I allowed to say, what am I allowed to say, what am I allowed to say, I would have to go like that, it's really, really good, I, really good, how long you been coming to Ibiza, a bit, uh, how long is that now? Uh, that's about 18 years. In fact, I know it's 18 years. Because it's 2001. Because I was here and the first time I came was 9-11, no. I was here at 9-11. No joke. So I am live, you know. You take the mic off me now. Oh, that's true. Everything I just said there is true. Right? So, you know, I'd have to just go like that. Really good, thanks. Aye, really, really good. If you're enjoying it, brilliant. What about the weather? Lovely weather. Love the weather. Love the heat. I love the heat. Aye, so you, you, you enjoying that? And, 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 and I wouldn't even know what you're saying. So you must be... Because I sometimes don't hear people. My hearing's a bit shite and also I've got... Don't know. Don't know what it is. But I'm just like that. <laughs> Um, so I'd have to go. I am. I'm. Um, I'm yeah. I'd just have to go like that, <laughs> and I can pass that off. Remember, there's a music playing. There's people. You can't hear. Them. And I would have to just go, <laughs> and I'd just know that I would say I to a question that's about like I've got to give like some sort of value. Like ten or three months, you know, something like that. I've got to get a number. I would get asked a question, and I've got to get a number. Like, how long have I been there for? And I, I know that's when I would go like, "Hi, because mm-hmm. <laughs> you can get away with most things if you just sort of say I and nod." <laughs> But sometimes, so how long have you been, how long have you been coming here? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'd be like, that wee fucking boy, that wee boy, that, you know, that gif, the wee boy that gets interviewed. The wee boy that's like, you know, like that, and he's like that. That's exactly what I would be like. And it'd have to take me away like, oh, wow, wow, Daniel, Daniel, your dad, they've made a fool of your daddy, Daniel, they've made a fool of your daddy. Anyway, so I was like, um, I didn't want to go back, I didn't want to go back, so I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't going to show, but just as... She came out the toilet with Daniel and we're ready for walking away. Uh, you know, Kathy Mambo's like back there. It would take you 30 seconds to walk back to it, which is quite a, a long time. You know, it's, it's all busy and everything. Um, then Rylan gives a shout out. Gives a shout out. Rylan gives us a shout out. He goes, All right, I got this, I got that. And, uh, a uh, shout out to Lemmy and 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 here and that's it. And I was like, oh look, there you go, Daniel. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? And I think it was then. It was then. Or it was just before. I can't remember. That uh, I showed, I said, oh, there's look, he said, uh, I have to go back. He said he wants to meet me, but you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. She's like, what are you talking about? Get, get back, go back, go back, go back. And I went, no, 
no, just just go, go back. I just want to, I'm just want to go, come on, come on, aye, all right, in, all right, in. And I'm thinking, what the fuck is going to happen here? I don't want, I'm looking at myself, I'm just looking at my fucking, the state of me. And, um, and so she drags this fucking back, and then I'm like, I don't know where to, how to, what am I meant to do? Go down the front bit and go, or walk up the stairs to actually go inside this fucking, you know, where the toilets are inside Cafe Mambo. Get his attention for the side. Anyway, I walked up, and I, he was kind of behind people. So I walked up these wee stairs that take you into Cafe Mambo, and I was sort of at the side. I was like, try to get his attention. Bouncers were like, ah, you got to "Move, you got to move. Come on, come on, you got to move. You got to keep moving." It's just that I'm trying to. You got to move. You got to move. So I went inside, which is like toilets and a a bar, because it's an actual fucking place. Um, C C Peniston was there. Finally, she was there, and she was getting pictures with some people. I was like, "Fuck me, man! What, what am I doing here? Cunts are gonna go like, uh, cunts are gonna go like, who's he? Why are you here with Miss Peniston?" Um, I was waiting to get shuffled out, and a bouncer was looking at me. I was thinking, "Am I meant to be here?" I was waiting for the bouncer to say, "Uh, no, move." But I waited a bit, and then. I bumped into CC Peniston, like literally, I told you about that, and I want to say that again, but I bumped into her. Um, she bumped into me, actually. I had to walk out again, I tried to get Rylan's attention again, like that. Uh, the bouncer was like, um, move it, keep moving, keep moving. And I had, I had to pull out my fucking phone. I pulled out my phone and I showed the fucking tweet that Rylan gave me to the bouncer. Uh, it's just that he's wanting to, um, meet, the guy's like Spanish, I think. The guy's, what he, uh, Ryland's wanting to meet, he says there, I showed him a tweet where Ryland's went, come and meet me. I'm like, look, the, I have to go to the thing. He's like, um, you, you, I don't know, you're just going to have to keep moving. You're just going to have to keep moving. Well, who, who would that, I just keep moving. So I ended up leaving, walking back to where Lynn was. She was in some sort of queue and I went, I can't get in. What are you talking about? He's right there. Lynn, I can't get in. I can't get in. He's right fucking there. They won't let me. They won't let I don't know who to speak to. Go up. Go up and get his attention. Oh. And then, you know what she said? It was a bit then she said, or just before it, she said, that Rylan had said, oh, big shout out to Lemmy and Lynn and all that. Come and introduce the next act, Lynn said. Lynn said that Ryland said that I was to go up and introduce the next act. That's the thing I didn't fucking mention there. So I'm going up to get the guy's attention and I'm fucking shiting it. I'm shiting myself. Because I'm thinking, I don't know what the fuck I'm, what? He's not got anybody else to introduce the act. He introduces the act. Am I going to go up in front of all these fucking people and say, hello, well, the next act here is, and then, you know, my, my vision would go all fucking bloody because of the panic and everything, I'd be like, is, is somebody, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll write it out for you, alright, what is it, you know, like, and I'd be like, <laughs> everybody be like, who is this cunt, who's this da, fuck off. So I was going up there, really no one to date, and I was thinking to myself, oh, it'll be good, it'll be good, like, publicity or something, no, 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 it'll be fucking, you'll be a laughing stock. Anyway, I went back and I did that same thing again, trying to get his attention down the front, then walking up the stairs to go into Cafe Mambo, and as I walked up the wee stairs bit, get his attention for the side, he's too busy doing stuff, then I went back inside, you know, bouncers like that, move, 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 back inside, back out. Fucking went back and forth, back out of line. I can't get his attention. Let's just leave it. And Daniel was like that. Oh, you've got to. Come on, you've got to. And I'm like, I can't let him down. I'm going to look like a fucking coward. I tried it again. I think I tried it about three fucking times. And I was just thinking, this is... Fuck this. So I tried it like a third time or a fourth time. And I just couldn't do it. I couldn't get his attention. I was pure trying to get his attention 
for something I didn't even want to fucking do. I didn't even want to do it. Like, it's like begging to get somebody's attention, like get fucking executed or something. Here, you forgot me. You forgot me. Remember you have to... It's like somebody saying, I'm going to... Thingy's looking for you, by the way. Thingy's looking for you. He's going to not fuck at you. Thingy's looking for you. Big Remy's looking for you. He's going to not fuck at you. And, and, and you have to go and find him. And you're pure looking about for big fucking Remy to not fuck at you. Anybody seen Remy? No. Oh, where, do you know where Remy is? No, I don't. I think he's up there. Where's Big Remy? Where's Big Remy? Do you know where Big Remy is? He's the bat on me. Oh, fucking horrible. Horrible. Anyway, it ended up walking all the way back to Lynn. I says, listen, I'm not there. I'm not there. I, I can't. I, it's just, it's the mo I says, Lynn, Lynn, can we just go? Can we just go? I feel like I'm fucking tripping here. That's what I said to her. I says, I feel like I'm, I wasn't like this. Lynn, I feel like I'm fucking tripping here, by the way. I feel like I'm tripping here. I was just like, Lynn, I feel like I'm fucking, I, I, feel, I feel like I'm fucking tripping here. Can we just go? The moment's passed, right? The moment's passed. I can't get up. I'll be all right. She said, she went, all right, and all right, and. But Daniel was like, um, Dad, Dad, he wants you to introduce, he wants you to go up, he wants you to go, I know, but I don't really want it. I don't really want it. I did at the time, but it's just a wee bit too difficult. Go up, he's right there, he's right there. I'm like, um, I, I just don't, I just don't want it. Daniel, come on, let's go down to the beach now, right? I want to spend time with you. I want to spend time with you, pure fucking lying bastard. I want to spend time, to spend time with you, you and mum, right? That's the main reason why I'm 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 no, I'm down here. It's not because of my shite bag. It's because my need and desire to spend time with my son and my girlfriend overrule my desire to go up there. It's just too powerful. The love of my family is too powerful. Let's go. Um. So we just went down to the beach and I said to Lynn we, we walked for a bit and she went, ah well, ah well, ah well, right? And then later on, like ten minutes later or half an hour later, somebody posted a clip for him getting the, the Benny Harvey shout out, but then posted the clip I'm um, giving the shout out to me and Lynn and Daniel, and I listened to it. A shout out to Le to Lemmy and Lynn and uh, I sound like American or something. Lemmy and Lynn and their son Daniel. No, he said, and his son Daniel. And then he said, "Right, time to introduce the next act." Something, something, something. I said, "Lynn, Lynn." He didn't fucking say I was there. He didn't say I was to fucking introduce the next act. Listen. Listen. He says, he says, right, time to introduce the next act. He didn't say, Lemmy, come on now, mate. Time to introduce the next act. Get your ass up here. He didn't say that. You know what she said? She says, no, I know, I know. I was like, what do you, what do you mean you know? I was like, what, what do you mean, you know? You know? She says, no, I know. I says, do you mean you know as in you know now that I've told you? Or have you just realised? Or did you hear the clip? Did somebody post the clip to you that clarified it before I got to hear it there? What do you mean? She says, she said that she knew that he hadn't said that. I went, what? What? What, 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 what did you do that for? Why did you say that? She said, oh, I just wanted to, I just wanted to encourage you to get up. I said, you wanted to encourage me to fucking get up? Then I was fucking shouting it. I wanted to fucking run a mile. Oh, good. 
I'm getting to fucking go up here, fucking, fucking fat bastard. Fat bastard, fat fucking 44 year old fucking down on holiday. I'm mad fucking state. I'm mean, fucking hell like that. I'm fucking look at this. Alright. <laughs> oh, that was on the fucking telly fucking eight fucking year ago. Introducing the next act that isn't CC Peniston, that isn't fucking um, Sophia Lispector because they've been on. We're, we're now getting the fucking dregs. I'm the dregs, introduce the fucking dregs. Yay! Fuck me, man. I just wanted to encourage you. I was honestly... Big Remy's want to bark, fuck it, you better find him, right? Remy! Remy, I'm here! Remy, I'm here. Oh, it was horrible. Labrat says, Howling just picturing Lemmy having a hissy fit. Oh, no, I don't fucking go in any hissy fucking fit or anything like that. Do you think, you think I could get away with speaking to fucking Lynn the way I speak to yous? Um, anyway, fucking times it. Uh, Scotty plays, so that's what happened to be with Rylan. So I ended up no, uh, doing that. Hell Whiskers, thank you very much. Your face looks horrifying with the new cam, thank you very much. <laughs> 